Welcome to our unboxing of the iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max. By now you may have seen these beauties up close and personal, or you may even have one in your hand right now watching this video. Some of you, maybe your phone is still back ordered, and you are waiting that day when it comes to you in the mail or you get that phone call from your neighborhood wireless store saying that your phone is in. So what we've seen so far from these phones is uh, a great review in terms of camera, right? Cameras are great. Uh, you'll see in terms of that bezel, those lenses, they protrude out quite a bit and you'll see this piece here is about the same size as what you've seen on the 12. But on the Pro and Pro Max series, they made it bigger. Now I don't have a mini here because really the mini is the same as your 13, just the size is different. So in terms of the camera, the dimensions, this is your 6.1 diagonally. We have a case here from our video we've done in terms of cases, your top four from Amazon. So that's one of the cases there that we featured in the show. Good tight fit, good protection, buttons, easy to push, power button is easy to push as well. So really good overall case. So that is your 13. This one is in the starlight color. So we'll take this case off so you can actually see the color. Then you have your 13 Pro in gold. Now you'll see differences there obviously between two cameras and three cameras, but also this real estate here of that square is much bigger. And that's why the cases in previous years, your 12 Pro and 12, they were interchangeable. And this year they're not because of that camera bezel. So if we were to attempt to put this case on, you'll see there it's not gonna work. So dimensionally, right, that 6.1 is fine. Um, all the buttons line up. It's just that piece right there is much bigger to where it doesn't fit in there anymore. So that is your 13 Pro in gold. And they started with the 11s, I believe, in that matte finish. So in the Pro and in the Pro Max, you have that shiny material, which yes, fingerprints, because on the 11s you have the aluminum. The Pro series is steel. So on the 11 and the 11 mini, it is nice because there's no fingerprints. Um, however, most people have a case on their phone, so you're really not gonna see the sides anyway when you have that case on there. Now you also notice there is no more cellophane. So the this one here I just left unopened. So really you're just gonna pull that, pull the other one, no more cellophane on the box, although I believe the iPads still do ship with them. Um, I don't know why they did that. Always a reason. That is your Sierra Blue. This one is the new color for your Pro Series. Very nice. I personally like it. This is how your phone will come. You have that plastic piece there because the cable protrudes out and they don't want it to scratch the actual glass. So that's why they put that protection on there. You'll see your typical SIM popper, and I thought maybe that the Apple stickers in each box were going to mirror the color of the phone, but they do not. All of them have the white Apple sticker that you'll find in previous years. You have your cable. They started with the 11s, maybe the 12s, now I can't recall. I believe it's the 12s where you just to get that cable. So that's really it in your box. Um, and this is the type C to lightning, which they did last year as well. So your type C can go in either way, just like your lightning cable. Um, type C promotes faster charging. They don't give you the block. Although in last year's iPad, they did give you a type C block. So you could technically use that same block for your iPhone. It does have higher wattage, but it will not mess up your battery in your phone if you use that brick from your iPad. So a little pro tip there. 
So here we have the Pro Max. You can see that stainless on the side. Just a beautiful, beautiful color. Turning it on. We're going to do a video as well on iOS 15 because there are a lot of changes with that. So there is your starlight, you have your gold, and you have your Sierra blue. So what do you like currently about your iPhone 13? Pro, Pro Max, Mini, regular, whichever one you have. What is your favorite feature so far? Um, how's that camera? Well, let's get some feedback on that. would love to hear your stories. Um, you've seen the Apple commercial where they're going around shooting actual movies with the iPhone. Now, granted, yes, they're professionals. They know what to do with the settings. They have all the lighting equipment and certain things, uh, gimbals and such, to have it look professional. Yes, because if I were to go do that, it would not look the same as them. But the fact that you can and have the ability to within the phone, the Pro Series is, is amazing. That cinematic mode is really cool where it blurs the background, shows the front, but then it can reverse and blur the front and show the back. So let me know what you think of if you have your phone already or if you're awaiting your phone. Um, let me know what things you're looking forward to when you get your new iPhone 13. Throw some things in the comments, and as always, like, subscribe, and make it a great day.